between Tutu and the Otter here. Guys, Civ Draft will be on your screen. Tutu has the Mayans, Berbers, Italians, and Persians. The Otter one has the Britons, Aztecs, Lithuanians, and Vikings. Home maps for the Otter will be then Bara, and then we will have lanes, monkey lanes for Tutu here. So, uh, map we haven't seen very much, maybe once, higher bracket actually, which is kind of shocking. And then we have lanes here as well. Very interested to see mm -hmm. how these maps play out. Want to talk about their sit picks a little bit? Of course. Um, Otter here has the more aggressive civs here. Britons, Aztecs, Lithuanians, and Vikings. I expect we'll probably see Vikings on um, what were the maps of their picks again? I gotta check the. Um... We had Ben Barra and Monkey Lanes. So uh, Monkey Lanes is just it's just lanes, right? Yes. Okay, so I just seen uh, Britons or even Lithuanians there on uh, lanes. Those are very two strong civs for that particular map. Well, on the first starter map, uh, Jungle Arabia, I probably probably just see Aztecs or Britons from Otter. Uh, from 2 2, um, as the more you know, a bit of a mix of sieves here, you have one ec uh, two economic sieves, one sieve for it's great on water, and another with a uh, great military like cheaper knights. Um, which one we'll see first? Um, either Mayans or Berbers on uh, or either Mayans, Berbers, or Persians on Jungle Arabia, though I would like to see Mayans versus Aztecs on um, on Jungle Arabia, that would be nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, solid civs for both. Italians, probably the throwaway here for Tutu, if I had to guess. I imagine he's going to open with Berbers on Arabia, and then on lanes, I think I think Mayans, probably. But we'll see, we'll see. Benbara is uh, going to be an interesting one with that little lake and pond going across the center between the Palisade barriers for both players. I mean... Hard to say either way, but it's going to be interesting. I think it uh, could be fun to see Vikings on that map, actually, for Otter. But nonetheless, guys, we're going to dive in. We're going to start the set here. Getting into the game, I am at five seconds when you are ready. I am ready. Three. So, uh -huh. we'll actually be Aztecs for the Otter one. In gray here, going up against Tutu Asylum's Berbers. Probably best case scenario for Aztecs going up against Berbers if the Otter can pull off some good monk play. But it's yeah, pro uh, probably going to be straight pike from him, which is never what you really want to see. But with the monks here, it could be big. Yeah, uh, definitely a nice a nice matchup for uh, Aztecs as they have a lot of counters for, against Berbers, but, uh, and again, uh, I, I don't see this as often for people. Um, Berbers can tech into the, their own champion line. They get full upgrades with their champions. So it's definitely something they could do, and they also have access to gunpowder, but that's more of a late game type thing. Uh, even a mid game, on like mid castle age, even just opening like, uh, was it two handed, or not two handed, uh, long swords would be good against Aztecs. For sure. Uh, Another thing to point out here, the golds for both players are extremely unfortunate. Uh, not quite so for the Otter, who has his main gold, can be very safe. But all the golds are forward for both players. Yeah, he's going to have to TC that, that main gold pile. We don't really have a, a choice in that. Yeah, and uh, that's uh, going to be rough. I mean, obviously gold dependent for both Thivs, but yeah. more so for Aztecs. That does help him that that gold is pretty safe. Uh, and he could go for some really big walls and have uh, two safe stones, two safe golds. But quite the investment, which Aztecs generally don't play into. Usually, you know, man-at-arms plays. I love the monkey just luring in the hunt. Uh, good stuff there from Otter. No. Yeah. Oh, 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 I should go back. Okay, there you go. Could have avoided a, a bad lore there. Oh no. Well, I guess it's fine. At least he's close to TC. Actually, that's that's fine spot. Yeah, it'll be alright. He's got it in at least. Second boar already coming in here for Tutu as well. 
using TC strats, I like. Yeah, I mean, this Arabia map, man, has proven to show some interesting generations, making players adapt, and uh, this one will be no different. I mean, Tutu's map here is uh, looking to be very, very difficult to secure in the early game. Well, definitely quite the greedy play here for Otter. He's not even going out forward. Let me check his uh, scouting here. Yeah, uh, doesn't look like he's gone forward. No, he stayed at home. He's just lured in all of his hunt. And looks like now he's going to go forward. Actually, he didn't even get all of his hunt. He got two of that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, honestly, just commit to getting all all four of them and just kind of get ahead food-wise. I can get behind getting a couple in, though. I don't mind it. He is still going to be fine. And the sheep's still available behind him. Got a lot of food to be under the TC. There's actually that deer he just shot down behind the TC, which is probably the worst lord spot for him right now, but... No early aggression, which feels weird. I figured Aztecs of anything would be, uh... going into a Drush or Man-at-Arms play here. Yeah. Honestly, that would be even a really good opening for Berbers here, just open up with uh, Man-at-Arms. And again, uh, I expect just kind of going scouts as the opening for Berbers, just kind of a normal thing for them. And just kind of play into uh, Cavalry later afterwards. Sure. Holy sleep. It'd, it'd be a nice mix-up, though. Yeah. That'd be a good way to trip up Aztecs, is go your own Man at Arms. For and sure. Lead into Archers. And uh, Tutu here, the Sheep Slaughterer of 2020, losing uh, a lot of sheep here. Luckily has a lot of bills to take care of it. But a barracks will be on its way up here for Asylum. And I uh, imagine he's just going to click up after that. I don't see him producing this. There is Loom on the way in. And he does have about the food as we do have the Otter going to be going Loom. Clicking up well it looks like. Looks like so. Tutu's monkey boy is here. And he's, let's see what he does. Let's see if he goes for a Vil snipe. There he's is. doing some pretty standard scouting here. Nothing yeah, they're... too crazy. Oh, he's going for the bill. He's going for the bill. Yeah, I don't think he'll God, get that out. one. Oh, yeah. The only problem is there are a few exposed vills here that Monkey could take out. But ultimately... Yeah, that one single vill there that's... Uh... Oh, there. You're going to see uh, normal play here for Aztecs. Uh, Man and Arns are coming out, or Militia are coming out right now. Yeah, I think that's the right here. move. Unfortunately, we're gonna see a drush here from Tutu as well. Oh, so he was he was doing the thing I was talking about. Which yeah, is a good way to, especially knowing that Aztec is gonna do that. It's a good open there. or opening there. Quite unfortunate though. He's gonna lose most of the HP on this militia. It looks like. Maybe this is the uh, three billion IQ play here. Bring the two dogs in and lose the militia intentionally, and have the bulls fight the. Uh... Oh no, this is looking so bad. Just looking. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, that's not a good start for Otter there. That militia is pretty much uh, two smacks away from dying. Yeah, but I think this is going to be man at arms here for Tutus and. Yeah, but the effect would be significantly lowered as uh, HP is just so much worse. And they just take a, a fight straight on here. Actually, just go with the bill fight with the villagers right now. Oh, the, the, the monkey boys there though. That makes things more complicated. Yeah, this is actually fight. good timing for this fight taking now. A fight, and uh, Otter is taking a very good fight using the Monkey Boy to good effect there. And you gotta wonder where's uh, Tutu's Monkey Boy at? He's just sitting there alone in the in the uh, in his base. Oh no, uphill too. Oh, it's so bad. I, mean, I, was, I was hoping that Tutu would take a, a good engagement from that, and it doesn't look like it. He's forcing up a uh, range here real quick. All right in this wood line, not the most ideal place for it, but he has to get it up. Now, this is good for him, though. He canceled the man at arms. So yeah, he they saw that. He's not going to get any uh, mileage out of them, so he's just going to cancel it. Yeah, I think that is definitely the right play here, as this is not walled up yet. No, it's not walled up. I'm pretty sure that one pal side isn't. Uh... Okay, now you realized it. That the uh, Rangers are going to come out, and I expect uh, a screw opening from Otter, so he's just going to go straight for counter units, which is a good call. I don't dislike this in any way. A spearman also forward here. I mean, this is a good position for Otter, and he's That's probably going to snipe here. a Vil. Yeah, all these units, this is enough to kill Vils here. 
Yep, goes for the weak fill or weak uh, militia. That's good. Or man at arms. No, oh, no, it's all good. It looks good. Otters a little bit farther behind from villager count by one here, but the idle time has definitely been worse here. For losing both men at arms, that's pretty unfortunate. And uh, the skurns are in too. This is not looking good at all for um, for two two. Yeah, I don't like the Spears play here for Otter, though. He doesn't... I bet he's expecting uh, scouts to come in, but no scouts to be seen. Yeah, but he should expect that if he's seen in archery range, his opponent is preparing to defend from his attack. He doesn't have to worry too much about scouts, but... He is pressuring the wood line as well, which is nice. And this villager... Second wood line up. That's good. Good call there. Can he get Monkey Boy? He's going to get the man at arm there. And one villager just got caught out. It's pretty unfortunate. And that villager's gonna go down. Oh, is he? Is she? Oh, she's running. She is running right now. Uh, if even if she goes down, that's probably all of this is gonna do is there's now three archers and a skirm here. I think she's actually going to escape. Yep, just well, barely. Funky boy goes down. Funky on the other side is gonna get a pick here for Tutu's Asylum as well, which is huge. Uh, gonna pick off an archer. Yeah, Hitch and Chat pointing out Berber speed definitely paying off here. Yeah, it's just such a nice uh, economic bonus. And it uh, looks like Otter's pressure is just gonna go away here, but economically, I like Otter's position here. He's sitting very nice at home here. And uh, actually, I wouldn't say Tutu's too far off from him. Both are actually on equal village account. How'd this happen? How'd this happen? Well, I guess. He actually only killed one Vill, if, uh, no. if that's correct, right? No, no uh, Vill kills. Did he kill a Vill? No Vill nope. kills. Okay, well, that, that pressure didn't really get anything done. Uh, good defense from Tutu, then. If he was, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> that was a lot of uh, resources put into that. And kind of for not a whole lot. Yeah, I know it was great, honestly. And now we have both players going to try to wall up here a bit. Farming yep. upgrade is in here for the Otter one. It is not in for his opponent, but 13 farms for Otter, 15 here for Asylum, and adding more. He's coming forward to look to do some damage, gonna harass that wood line. The wood line is open now. Oh, He's no. He's walking in there. He's the low HP Vill, takes her out. That is the first Vill kill of the day. And this military can definitely take out the archers from Otter. Um, Otter. It's a mix of skurns and archers, which is definitely better than just uh, straight archers. Yeah, they are lower HP though, so... That's true. If uh, enough good micro, we could just take out all those units, but... Uh... Oh, you should just take the hill there. Oh, no. I think eh. he realizes now. No, no, he's realized it's too late. It's too late to take that hill. I think he should go home at this point and uh, defend with this army if he's not going to be able to hold a hill, though. So. Uh, Skurin's coming forward, so he's massing on military and he's going to come forward again. And it this gets... is not military to take a good fight here. He has to just, just get on top of the hill towards the gold and uh, take a good fight. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. And yeah, he did get padded archer armor too, so he is actually going to be very, very safe in this fight. Should win the fight, and again, the otter is going to be a few vills behind now. And we're seeing eagles queued up right now. Oh, he's queuing eagles already, okay. And a defensive tower. Okay, so the Otter is worried about his position. Yeah, and I think it's a good call to get that tower up too, as his other gold is not in a safe position. Yeah, I mean, you can't argue with him trying to secure that, but that just hurts. Especially, his other side is still wide open. He's not even yeah. walled over there. Honestly, I'd focus on getting up right now. As he has, uh, he's getting wheelbarrow right now and gold mining. So now he's looking to get up here, but I imagine Tutu will be up ahead of him right now. Yep, he is. Oh. Yep, all he needs to do is just send his uh, villagers to his TC and uh, go out to Imperial. And Imperial? Damn, it, that'd be one hell of a game if he got out to Imperial from Feudal. Yeah, would be impressive. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's clicked up. Otter won't be too far behind, but honestly, he's in some trouble here. He doesn't have any military to speak of that can deal with this archer mass, and yep. he's going to need to get something behind here. Maybe get a market behind here to delay this from coming up. 
There's been no reaction yet, though. The one eagle is coming over and available to go to build a house. Yeah, but uh, what's his uh, what's his play here? What's Tutu's play? And we're gonna see the standard uh, stable opening from Berbers, which Aztecs can really play well into that. Adding mugs and pikes. Oh, nice walls there from Tutu. Very observant. Is that actually still open? No, it's not. Okay. It's oh, open. It? You're yeah. trap. It's masterpiece. Let's go. It's open though. Is oh it? no, yeah, and Otter is going to try to wall to the edge of the map here in the long fashion. Oh, you're talking about Otter's side. Oh no. I was talking about the Masterpiece back at uh, Tutu's base. You see the eagle trap there. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, one eagle though. Not not the biggest of deals when he's got to put up with this at home. And this is open. These Vils could probably get this walled up, but he needs to do it quickly. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see standard stuff here, stable play, and we're going to see standard stuff from Aztec here. It's going to be transitioned to Eagles and uh, Infantry. Yeah, he does not get the walls up. This army is going to be in. Luckily for Otter, is this army shouldn't be upgraded any more than it already is. And it is two barracks, Eagle Scouts, with what will be plus one, plus one here in a second. So many Vils forced to gold because they have nowhere else to go. And these Skurns are getting a lot of value here. Lots of idle time, and that's that's really a, a good thing to do there for 2-2. Two, two. The Eagle out of that. does end up getting a kill with the Overshop. Oh no. But Eagles going to be going up against Knights. Not he, really. He has what enough, you want. Actually, probably has enough eagles to clean all this up. He's getting plus plus two right now. He has enough to clean this. Yeah, it's it's pretty uh, good. His, his eco is in such a, a mess right now. Twenty one on gold. You definitely don't want that. You need to send some of those back onto wood and onto your farms. Yep, plus two will come in before this fight even finishes. Uh, not a single eagle has gone down. One could here, but it looks like. Yeah, it's just one eagle lost. But we do have how many stables behind this now? Two. Only two. So And uh, he's open, by the way. He's open at the front. I mean, he probably knows that, but is he going to send a bill to, you know, block that, that hole or at least put a gate on it? And yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't know the knights are coming. The knights have plus two already as well. So he's so, going to be... So cheap. Knights are so cheap. You can just mass up a lot of them very quickly with Berbers. And nah. honestly, is not really reacted to this and still mining way too much gold. To be half of these gold miners should be either on like wood or food. And these are gonna Eagle Scouts, they're not even upgraded to Eagle Warrior yet. But Going up he against... probably has enough to actually jump on this army here. Oh yeah, these Eagles don't really stand a chance at this point. They're oh these are gonna... these are still Eagle Scouts, right? Yep, not even Eagle Warrior, so Oh, disaster, man. And he's still queuing up more. He's making an inferior unit. A pikeman is the switch now, but honestly, even with the hill... That. And with the hill, it's not even going to be enough here. He's going to be buying up, but I prefer if he just uh, Again, still way too many on gold there. He just so many villagers on that. Yeah, he's going to town center there. I think the town center would have been better off on the hill, but now he can't go anywhere else with these. Pikeman is coming in, so at least the upgrades translate. And yeah, and honestly, you could switch to um, um what's it called? Uh, uh, long swords. Yeah, Pike Monk probably his best composition right now, though. Yeah, and I feel like Berbers could do the uh, double food gold unit here pretty well. Knights and long swords together. It can be a really hard combo to stop. He's gonna walk right into those pikemen. It's not a fight you want to take, especially when they have plus two. Yeah, it's not a great fight, but at this point, he knows his military numbers are really low. He's gonna take the fight, yeah, and... and he's overwhelmed with numbers. And uh, let's talk about earlier about how he's been on gold for like three minutes and not any other resource, and it's starting to cost him. Yeah, I mean, he does have a market. He can. Oh, he never oh. finished the house. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so many bills are going to go down here. Yeah, I don't think he's noticed yet, either. Or maybe he oh, has, so and he's many just... Bills. There, he notices now. 
I already just committed those four knights to that. There, there's no way they're all going to fit in there. Oh, those villagers will fit in there. It's looking rough. The knights will get cleaned up here. Yeah, and more knights to follow. They're coming in. Yep. And third TC is going to be coming up for 2-2 here. And he's on three TC boom here back at home while Otter is just on one. But still, in comparison, Vils and... It's weird seeing uh, Aztecs outpaced in Vil Cal. Yeah, all the pikemen are coming through, and uh, I, I still like to see a um, a longsword switch here. Longswords and siege, be pretty cool, don't you think? I mean, it wouldn't be a bad switch, but he's already teched into plus two on cavalry, so why tech into infantry if he doesn't need to right now? You know? Yeah, but it's it shouldn't be too bad because it's all food based. Uh, he's getting a monastery down, so he's probably just gonna go for the relics. Now there's a whole now there's an overchop. Knights don't realize that here, but now this is looking uh, looking very rough. Yep, uh, he's gonna start adding a lot more farms, a lot more bills to TCs, and it's gonna be going pretty well for him. Uh, Otter's gonna attempt to make a push here, and he's gonna go crossbow, which is probably a better call here. But then again, long term they can't commit to crossbows, or Berbers can't. Well, he's going double gold comp. This is not going to be long term. He's going to try to end the game early here, I think. Mm -hmm. um, TC boom while uh, getting a lot of military. It's a good call there. Crossbow's not too bad, but it does take a little longer to tech into them, honestly. You need uh, a lot more wood for ballistics, or like 200 wood to get the university, and an extra like 300 for ballistics, too. It'll take a while to get those crossbows uh, up to full, full upgrades. Well, the pikes just kind of run amok and. Just cause havoc, and I was kind of saying earlier about like going into the the uh, militia line. That would have been a lot easier because he is his eco is more food based. He has thirty one of food, and he's he got crossbow. Okay, is that just a mistake, a cab archer? Because it looks like it. Yeah, it's just a misclick. Okay, he's not committed to. He didn't just get crossbow just to make a cab archers. <laughs> Honestly, cattle archers would have been an interesting choice, but... Uh, yeah, but they, 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 get, they have camel archers. They're oh, better. there are two knights on this town center. Luckily, yeah, a few pikemen the, here. The pikes will be here. But more knights... Pikes oh, no, this today. isn't going up, oh, is it? Oh, no. Disaster. This is not Dalt gonna TC. go up. Yeah, Dalt TC. Feels bad. Yeah, he These even tries to abandon pikemen are sitting it. on a... <laughs> A relic and uh, things are just looking, just not looking good for him right now. And so he, I, I, I kind of question the, the crossbow play because then he could just go, I'll just go back to eagles and eagles do pretty well. Well, masked up if there's enough of them, they do pretty well against crossbows. Yeah, I think though he's so far ahead, he knows his position. That fight with the eagle warriors, or they're not even eagle warriors, they're still eagle scouts and he's making eagles again. It's just yeah, and brutal. 30 fells behind because. Uh, Things are just not looking good for Otter right now, and uh, soon 2-2 uh, will have the economy to go to Imperial Age. And how many farmers do you have right now? He has 40 farmers. And a lot of those bills aren't working right now, but they're going to start working soon, and they're going to make a lot of farms. Get all, all the bills and the gold. He's going to get the right buildings. Actually, does he have all the buildings? Yes, he does. So he can go to Imperial Age once he gets the food and gold for it. But it doesn't look like he's going to be doing that. He's going to commit to more military. Commit to more mites. Commit to more uh, crossbow. Go... Double gold unit composition. It should be really nice for Berbers since the knights are so cheap. And there's that one cab archer I was talking about. Yeah, and honestly, the crossbows can kill these eagles, no question at this point. So crossbow will do All just right, fine. Alright, he still just has normal eagle scout. Oh no. Yeah. I don't know if does he realize he doesn't have eagle warrior. I would hope so, but I feel as if he definitely does not at this point. This oh, wood maybe. line is going to be under threat too with crossbows. Yeah, he's got that TC up on the hill there. It's good for him, but crossbows are here. Ballistics on its way. And knights Archer get in the over. back, so more vills will go down here. Things are just not looking good. Now he could. He has. Uh, does he have the monk around here? No, the monk isn't here. Monk and is he's on gone. the wood line at the same time too. Monk went out and went wanted to chat with the crossbows, but the crossbows said no and shot him. Yeah. He's lucky that the crossbows actually attacked the house, but yet still no reaction, so more vills will die here. It really can't take good fights against crossbows with eagle scouts. No. Even with plus two, they do not do well. <laughs> as well as people think. Maybe you could overwhelm with uh, a lot of pikemen, but then again, if uh, 
If you just pay attention, rip that cap archer. Uh, he could just micro all this. Like, yep, and these exactly eagles. These eagles not being upgraded, just gonna melt here. Yep, and then the pike wood will soon follow the uh, fate of the eagle scouts. Yeah, these crossbows have killed what is it, 18, 20 units already. Yeah, 19. such good mileage, and I feel like that's a bit of a misplay from Otter here. I, I feel like he doesn't realize that he doesn't have uh, Eagle Warrior, and he keeps making the unit thinking that he does have it, and he doesn't realize that, which is it's hurting him long term. Yeah, but I mean, the the overall population, 100 Vils to 59 yeah, here. Considering the Vil count, and he's on his way to Imperial Age 2. That's plus 2 stone mining, so he's going to look forward to dropping a castle. I'd say probably where that stone is at, and that wood line, to deny that, and deny that TC. And I didn't even think about it, he just wasted all of his gold. He's no more, he's no safe gold now. Other than that gold and the TC, I and mean, that won't be safe for very long either. And I don't even know if we're going to see him continue after Imperial Age comes in, honestly. It's probably just GG after this. And they're not Eagle Warriors, man. <laughs> this is a challenge to just make the wrong unit. Or the inferior unit here. Yep, and there will be the castle right in front denies, of the gate, actually. And that's even better. That denies the TC, denies the gold, the stone, and the wood line, too. It's just, this is the GG castle right here. He's coming in. He's going to. Oh, here comes the uh, response. Counter castle? castle? But this is going to be a doubt castle. Yeah. We're also supposed to hear this is going to outrange or range the villagers, but he is stonewalling behind it, but it's, it's not going to matter. No, Monk is around. I hear it. I don't see it right now, but. That one villager isn't building the. Thing. He's rushing all of his bills to build that, that castle. He needs that castle up, but it's not going up. It's going to be a doubt castle. And there's the GG. Yep, GG wow. comes in. Uh, Asylum will take this one. And yeah, I think monks would have been nice, but I think Eagle Warrior is really the thing that uh, <laughs> Eagle, hurts. Eagle Warrior in, in, in all caps. Underlined. <laughs> and italicized too. Eagle Warrior. I mean, there is a, a bit of an ELO discrepancy between these two, too. So, oh, it feels um, bad. That's definitely a, that's pretty awful feeling when you're making a unit and then you... You realize it's not the right unit, or you don't realize it, and you keep spamming it, and you're like, why am I losing these fights when I probably should take a much better fight against them, and then it just kind of spirals out of control. Yeah, but, for um, sure. I'm excited, though. Game 2 will be on Benbara, a map we have yeah. not seen much of, and we'll see if he has something prepared for us here. But a good, good showing overall for him. Rough, rough situation, but... Uh, We'll load into the second game here and see yeah, what he has prepared. Very convincing game from 2-2 uh, two -two here. Make a good use of the Berberus technologies and double gold units and knights and crossbows are really hard to stop. Especially if you don't have Eagle Warrior. Sure, right. for sure. Next game. Yep, loading in now here. Get the colors into the right situation here. And we should be go. Uh, I just wanted to see a chance to see Twisty Lanes. Twisty Lane. I, I don't know. Anyways, game number two, guys. I am at five seconds. I'm, there. I'm at ten seconds on accident. All right. Well, I will hit play and count down. All right. Oh, so we're Three, seeing... two, one, go. Seeing Italians versus Vikings on this map. Yeah, first, let's introduce the map a little bit. Uh, Benbara, kind of Sakotra style, limiting the map space even more than normal. There are 30k fish, perch, mm, in the center this, here. This seems bigger than Sakotra, a little bit bigger, a little safer too. Now those that giant ring of wood is means you're always going to have a safe wood line. But then again, if you're Losing your TCs, then it's not so safe. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be. It's, I imagine it's gonna be a lot of fighting over the middle, right? I mean, thirty thousand fish. That's a lot of fish. It is, but it's very, very exposed. So we'll see how this True. works out. The rotating version. Yeah, we we uh, we've seen it only rotated a few times, Hitch, but it, it's still a marvelous map. Um, two two. Also, you got lots of berries here. Oh, those. Well, oh, there's just bushes. I thought those were berries. Oh, there's a berry mixed in with every bush. 
Eh, it's not worth going out there for that. Yeah, I mean, the berry bush is uh, not too prominent, but, you know, may pay some dividend at some point, I suppose. But the important situation here is going to be the fish for the beginning. However, Italians versus Vikings, I don't um, know how... After, I don't know, after the change, the, the nerf to Vikings, I'd say Italians is probably the stronger Civ here. Even considering the fact that the stronger economy bonus with the free wheelbell hand cart, that's always going to be better, best, no matter what. Italians have a lot of things going for them. They have thumb ring. They do. I don't they have know. Thumbring and um, I'm sorry, <laughs> just had to be for a second there. They have thumb ring. They have um, pavis. Get all their upgrades. Their their uh, arbalest. Plus, yeah. they have a better late game too. Well, and they have the faster up times as well. So Italians definitely feel good. I don't know if it's really that big of a nerf to Vikings though. I think with their economy still being spectacular and their infantry being buffed from the start of the game now it, it's gonna be really situational as to how everyone plays this here yeah i you know considering the fact and also considering that we have a uh, monkey boy here we could um a matter our opening on a map like this would be very nice or, or well, much opening asylum is going out very early for this dock wants that fish and honestly it's aggressive to be this far out, and he does have the monkey here to protect, so no loom though. We'll see if it goes up. If it does, and let's see if Otter notices. He's going on the other side, he won't know. He's not gonna find out. No, yeah, and that instantly boosts the economy here. Uh, Otter is taking some shore fish, but ultimately, no dock just yet for him. A fishing ship gonna be out ahead of time, and Asylum going to be fishing here very early and that's good economy right there and not being not seeing that as a bit of oversight there from otter as he won't be able, well i mean how long would it take for uh <laughs> well the monkeys are gonna fight here duel the monkeys oh an asylum and, wins so oh, there goes uh the option of having uh otter's monkey boy take out the dock and he won't see it he won't know. He won't see it either, and he's going to get so much food from that. That'll put Italians up over Vikings for sure here. It means he won't have to invest as much into food into a food economy. Not only that, it's so close. It's 30,000 food, and the ships barely have to move. Yeah, and he's going to get ahead here, too, with uh, Italians cheaper... Um, Uptime. Cheaper, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be rough to come back from this position, to be honest. Especially since he's yet to even drop a single dock at home to try to go out here. He's got a lot of vills queued. Oh, a ton of vills queued. So he probably could be on his way up soon. Maybe he's going to try to fast castle this? That's so risky. He only has, only defense is palisade walls, and those could easily get just shot down. Villagers? And plus, the the middle is so exposed here, too. I think, where are those bills going? Where are you guys going? Are you going for that last hunt? Ah, uh, there's a deer in the corner. That's a, some long-distance hunt. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess this is an FC. Uh, it has to be, because why would he? Why else would he have queued up six villagers? Yeah. I don't like it, though. I don't think it's no, going to do like it anything either. for him. Even if he gets up... I mean, honestly, the, the fact that he could lose some access to his resources here without question for galleys not to mention these are just palisade walls there's nothing on stone so it's not like he's trying to go for a forward castle which i would love to see on this map actually but right now he has no scouting he's at yep. 24 pop he's still got two vills queued so that'd be what 26 pop and a second dock uh I guess this is a uh, water play then. Has to be, because there wouldn't be any other, any other reason to have the second dock come up back at home. Uh, I think he'll probably add a single galley or two, maybe two. It will actually be a fire, fire ship. Fire galleys. Uh, I, I go with the galley here just because they're able to outrange things. And honestly, uh, it's probably not a very good play because the TC is literally right there. It could easily shoot out the, the fire galley. But then again, we could take down the walls here. 
and let easy access for uh, archers to come in. I don't even think he's worried about getting in. He doesn't even have a barracks. He expects this to be full water right now. Now, Feudal Age is on its way for the Otter one. Now, if he can get up to Castle faster... Yep, take advantage of that free handcart. You can get, get ahead here. Good, but the issue... We have Italian fishing. We've already taken 400 fish from the center. Yeah, cool. he's really taking advantage of that. And... Things are not looking good, and uh, fires are here, and they're going to start harassing the house. And uh, there's the TC. It's too close, so he realizes it. The things I, I called out were uh, happening exactly, exactly in the order that I said they would happen. Yeah, and honestly, he's up so late, but he's not going to have enough to click up, I don't think. And if he does, I don't know how effective it's going to be. What are you going into here if you're going into Castle Age? That's true. Uh, what does he do? I guess he's, his best option is crossbow, which is exactly what he's doing right now. At these, this one galley will be a lot to harass the villagers. Oh, go go for the uh, go for the blacksmith. Well, yeah, there you go. I feel like. Uh, Tutu's committed to this because he sees that uh, he could get more pressure in. And uh, while well, the galley eats uh, the TC, it's definitely not something you want. Uh, okay, now he realizes, okay. And it will be Blacksmith Market, so not even going into Archers at this point. It's going to be in a rough spot. Honestly, yeah. I think Tutu's going to be up at the same time. In there, he's selling. He might actually end up up before with the Italian clickups. Yeah, the thing nope. about now is, is Castle just gets to be worse. I mean, no military building out, not not that many bills and gold. I mean, he's getting the bills and the gold now, but that's going to be an inefficient uh, lumber cap or mining cap there. And I guess the thing here is that you don't even need food bills. All you need is bills to create a create units for crossbows or like gold and blood so I guess that's probably the idea behind it he's on stone now too probably wants to tower up uh, his uh, end of the coast here and yeah, on stone heavily nine on stone here but he sold his stone to get up at the same time so yeah what, what is castle H gonna get him I mean does he have enough for uh, a range I mean yeah he does but does he have enough to produce from a range well, and oh no! Are those okay? I guess he just is he, is he gonna go for a castle drop? He has to. I think that's his only choice here. I don't know what else you go for, honestly. Fourteen on stone, and this is visible. The galleys see this, and I think Asylum being up this fast, he's only gonna be a minute behind here. Adding his barracks, getting the padded archer armor already has fletching, so yeah. will be going this into be a, archers a quick himself. Game here and a good showing for Italians on this map. Yeah, I think maybe this a is... misclick for scouting there too early game. If he had scouted that that dock and denied it, maybe would a this would have been a different situation. I think uh, this not, just not... comes down to the way this was supposed to be played, honestly. That too. That's another big thing. I take it away from the um, the dock play there in the middle, but yeah, it's not looking so good for him right now, and. Uh, is he just going to buy the stone for a castle? He is. And where's that castle foundation going? It has to be on the dock, right? Uh, what does that get you? I mean... It gets get you me. the map position, I guess. I don't know. But it's going to be again, forward. Again, he's already safe at home. And uh, he's not getting... He already has two extra gold piles. It is home. on the he's dock. There are galleys. Oh, no. Oh, no. On the dock. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't agree with this castle at all, honestly. Uh, Tutu's food economy back home is already fine. It's already way better than Otter's right now. Yeah, I think. I think and this he is. You can just rebound from this too, and like even add like an extra TC on the on the outer edges or whatever, and just uh, boom up with the economy there. And this is not going to be a doubt uh, castle, so it's going to yeah. be good here. It's going to deny the dock, deny the fishing, but 
Not like he had a lot there to begin with anyways. Uh, I wouldn't even send that archer forward. I would just send him back home. He's not going to die anything. He's just going to get shot. There he goes. Yeah, he will secure gold there in the center, but... but what, what does that get him? Yeah, he's going to dock and get the food, actually. I think that's probably a better play for him, but behind and this... F FC into castle drop mid to get food? I mean, longboats and could be pretty devastating, but could be. don't know if we'll see that, to be honest. We're seeing a workshop come up in a second range, so we're going to be seeing crossbow, maybe maybe rams to get the castle. Yeah. I don't know, Maganel, so they'll just, I'm not, I guess they're fine. They'll be fine against the longbows, but the longbows could easily just out-micro the, uh, the Maganel. Yeah, I mean, I do like that we're going to see longboats, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but longboats, let's go. Longboats on the smallest patch of water you've ever seen them on, probably. But, uh, no, I mean, in this position, he's pretty far behind. He does take the food economy away from Asylum here, but ultimately, ultimately, Italians getting to the late game has the better economy. Even if longboats do take control of the center, I don't think we're going to see any stress on Asylum. Yeah, he's in a pretty leading position here. And that villager is going to go down. Does he notice? Oh, don't do a little drive-by. Notice. Okay, there you go. That would have been sad if he didn't notice. Yeah, but the crossbows can just avoid the castle and move yeah, to the other just side. Walk around and just go straight for the main economy. And I bet Otter's regretting his choices of placing that castle there. Yeah, it's as not pretty. This, as this virtually denies nothing. Yeah, you got the fish in the middle, but the berserks. We're seeing berserks come out. Oh, well, those guys are just getting melted by the crossbows. Oh, well, I mean, if they would have, if they didn't eat the castle. Yes. Oh, that feels so bad right there for 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, but well, he's going to put a town center here, which I like. And I think a siege workshop, and he can defend this relatively easily. So I can't argue with that. And there is a tower going up here for 2-2, two, two, but uh, Bill's not going to get that up, actually. And those longboats actually coming into decent use here. They're denying the uh, the tower there. And they're going to start uh, kicking those bills off the gold there. And let's talk about earlier, he needs to get like at least like you know maybe a TC on the outside at a ring. But right now he's going to go for ballistics, I believe. Yeah, and you know, he's got a siege workshop coming at home. He's got two town centers, so he can boom into this. He's going to have the food. He is already creating fishing ships. All right, there's... Uh, uh, honestly, Otter's got a... Or um, a Tutu's giving Otter the opportunity to boom back into this game. Yeah, and he's going to be pressuring, honestly, a uh, much better position at this point than I thought he was going to be in. Yeah, it's it's weird. I was thinking that Tutu was just going to get the, the W here pretty convincingly, and especially after that castle placement there. It's like kind of questionable. Sure. This is, but, uh, all right, Tutu's got into his base with one crossbow and one mangonel. Honestly, yep. the mangonel should just be attacking the... Um, TC. Yeah, defensive main now coming in. One Berserker going to take down Palisade Gate here. Couldn't get in anywhere otherwise. That tower will complete now as well. Oh, walking right into it. Loses the Mangonel. One for one. All right, the pressure is gone now. And the Berserker will chase the crossbow out. And honestly, if the Otter can hold on for just a little bit longer, get his economy in even that much better of a position, I think yeah. he'll be in... Very good place to defend this. Yeah, honestly, don't I feel like this is a bit of a throw. Yeah. Not to say a full throw, I mean, he lost those four, those like six crossbows to the uh, castle. They could have done so much damage with the with the one mangonel. And how um, Otter's base is laid out right now, he's, I mean, he's just, anywhere the crossbow goes, it's just going to get shot by TC fire. And another town center coming up as well. So three TCs in this tiny, compact little area. And there's the second TCs for 2-2. Uh, and uh, if he has good reaction here, he'll be able to react to time and just... Uh, uh, not the best reaction. Okay, there we go. Only lost one bill. And, uh, oh no, 2-2. Oh no, things are just falling apart. 
He's gonna get shot more by the other TC. Yeah, there are Four three TCs. crossbows coming on the other side, and a town center is going to be attempted there, so... Yeah. Could be rough. But ultimately, uh, villager count on the side of the otter now. Uh, he cleared up the dock. He's taking fish from the center. The big concern is this town center right now. There are three crossbows here. If it goes noticed, and it is being noticed, it could be dangerous. Dot TC. Uh, there are longboats here. Yeah, longboats here. That is right. Not being used, though. Villagers aren't being pulled back. Crossbows are getting great value at this point. <laughs> this is just like a disaster unfolding for both players. <laughs> Why is he not focusing the other TC? There you go. Double and, disaster for both. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that is double disaster. Doubt TC and <laughs> losing the crossbows. <laughs> yeah, and uh, now the villager count is back in the favor of Asylum. But crossbows going to need to be paid attention to here. Otter unable to connect with the Mega Shot. Looks like he's just going to turn and go back home. Still, Otter selling a ton here. Holy crap. He wants to go to... What is he? What is he selling for? I think he's just trying to get up to Imp, but no, maybe he's just buying food? Yeah, he's booming. Just trying to boom into food. But Imperial Age already here now. Yeah. So, Asylum... to the new TC. Asylum going to be pretty happy with his position on the map here. Yep. And uh, chemistry's going to be so cheap for Italians since they get up. Villagers going down again to crossbows here. Asylum did a good job. Crossbows eating TCs. Asylum did a good job to uh, pay attention to his crossbows down there. Otter... Oh, no. Otter oh, buying, no. selling, and going up again. Move, Tutu. No, move. Oh, no. He doesn't realize. Splits and loses more. Yeah, he will save the bulk of them, though. And this castle coming up, no doubtedly, will be for trebuchets, as Otter will see that now that he's brought the longbow and, uh, forward. He doesn't have the range because he doesn't have Botkin. Oh, no. He can't deny that castle. Botkin on its way in now. The crossbow is just attacking the TC itself. Uh, not really getting good miles out of it. Now he realizes and shooting the uh, bills and goodbye crossbow. Yeah, if Otter can hold on though, I think he's going to be in a fine position because he's got a lot of I, TCs behind this and just honestly, needs to Honestly, I, I feel like Tutu's going to thrill this game somehow. I feel it in my bones, though I could be wrong and I kind of want to be wrong, but just because of the lead that Tutu has right now. Well, then again, Otter is... Get an up and vill count. He's guess uh, four TCs, though they're all bunched into his uh, home uh, economy, and I don't really like that. Now archery range coming up now. We also yeah. have Pavise finishing already. Yeah, those arbalest are going to be super tanky, and he actually doesn't have enough for arbalest. No, he oh, put a food. treb out first, which is honestly is the best decision you could make at this point, I think. Yeah, better call, and then get Arbless, and seeing the right play for, for Otter is already queuing up in the skurns, but uh, I, I guess it should be fine, and uh, neither player, or, well, Tudu doesn't really have the food economy to switch into something like Hussar. It's 16 on food, he really needs to get that up, and maybe an extra TC down here in the, in the left corner could help out, but he's Currently focused on trebbing everything down. Two trebs are coming out, and uh, is that that treb gonna live? Uh, it should. Yeah, there's only one longboat remaining actually after that fight, and bracer did come in, so Arb coming before too long. Chemistry actually has chosen to go first, which you haven't seen any military from your opponent, so I can get behind that. Chemistry, very very nice. There are four mangonels in the field for Otter. Gonna see uh, Arbalest. There's Arbalest. I think Otter's yeah. gonna go chemistry first, potentially, and just go cannons. Yep, chemistry in first. Yeah, honestly, I'd like to see these turn into onagers. It'd be a good way to open things out until uh, Tutu can 
get out a lot more cannons, but uh, that, honestly, that wouldn't be too bad of opening, wouldn't you think? Yeah, it's just too expensive. Skirm, yeah, at Skirm and uh, Onagers. But, um, yeah, here comes the Arbalest, and keep in mind, these guys have extra armor. They have Pavis, Pavise. And these are going to be very strong Arbalest. And let's see, can he turn around, turn the game around here with four Mangonels? Let's see. Um, here they come. Well, he's going to have to get a big, big lucky shot here, but he's running he's with running. them. Why are you running, man? Trying to get out more longboats, too. This would have been a good time to try to engage this. Yeah, that would have been perfect time for that, too. But he's apparently still focused on massing up more skirmishers. And the docks go down. No more food and come from the middle. And these uh, trips can come forward, and they can start trepping down the workshop, the TCs. They just get everything. And the elite skirms are never going to be masked if the trebs come forward here. And the, the trebs need to actually come here and start killing the production buildings because he doesn't have this. Uh, Otter doesn't have the uh, economy to support any more um, military or even. Oh, that's that's why he can't support any because he has the the queue filled like crazy on the uh, the one range or on both ranges actually. Yeah, he only has the two ranges and like twelve in each range. The mangonels, where are they going? Like, uh... I'm so scared. I know. Yeah, they outrange, and the this many arbalest can are able to one shot a mangonel. But I should just go for it. I mean, just he's go gonna he's gonna have to. Like, he doesn't have a choice. No other choice. Yeah. Maybe, and... maybe if he's lucky, he can save some skirms. But no, not for long. The trebs will soon destroy these. And the economy is just getting better and better for 2-2 two -two here. Even with all the TCs, it's the things are just getting worse and worse. So they're seeing a Bombard Cannon being very ballsy right now going forward, even though it knows it's in range of the Longboat, but the Longboat should go down. Yep, Longboat definitely will go down here. Second and the Bombard boat. Cannon will go down. Yep, Germs finish it off. Now this Mangonels will come forward, it looks like. Needs to save his buildings here, basically is why. Germs are looping around the other side. Interesting. Try, try that one. Mangonels! Here, here they come. Taking a shot. They miss. Yeah, they're just out of range. Yeah, it's just too much for them. He will take out a treb, which is nice Two for Mangonels him. Two Mangonels are down, and it's looking over right now. I get one shot off. It's one one mangonel for two units. Same thing happened again. And he's taking it into Hussar. It's, I mean, doesn't really have the eco for it, but still, this should really just end up the game here. Yep, cannon galleon. The dock will be soon lost here. And I mean, honestly, he's getting pushed into this corner slowly but surely. A cannon galleon can hit pretty much everything in the base here. And he's, he's starting desperately... to mass up more ranges back at uh, the other side of the corner, and the score difference is getting bigger. Vill difference is starting to get more apparent. I love the farm surrounding the one stable. That's not how you do things, but it's all good. Yeah, this trebuchet has killed two units, uh, and it continues to fire on the Arbleth. But ultimately, Vills are dying, Trebs are dying. The skirmisher mass is there. Just in time for his opponent to start that switch into the scout line. Yep, and he already has plus two. He's gonna get uh, light cap here soon, and he's coming forward with uh, several vills. What he's gonna do? He's just gonna do a tower, safety tower, watchtower is coming in. Yeah, I like watchtowers attack here. Just you're trying to hold position, keep your opponent Honestly, at bay. Well, that's what the Orbis could probably take this fight. Enough good micro, and they have puppies. Heavy say they probably could take this fight. One hundred percent. And he's... and unfortunately, they're shooting a house right now, which uh, I don't know. I like that. Yeah, bombard cannon gets focused down though, rather than the arb numbers. And now Honestly, scouts are on their way fight. in. Yeah, and these scouts should do pretty fine, even though they are just scouts. It should be enough distracting, distraction for the uh, skirmishers so the Arbalists can do their damage. And they're running, man. Yep, guard running. tower in the middle of the north here. It looks like he's just going to continue forward with towers, but uh, GG, good luck next, comes in. And yep. Asylum takes the set pretty handily here. But And it, it came down to maybe a lot of misplays and 
uh, bad decision making from Otter here. Uh, I mean, this one was a bit strange with that one, but it was, uh, like I said, quite the ELO discrepancy as well. So. Oh, that's that's another thing to consider too, which is that kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean, two two is the number one seed and sixteenth uh, seed here. I think the ELO discrepancy is like a hundred, hundred fifty points at that point. So, bit rough for him, but. Uh, Thank you to the Otter for participating. Appreciate it. Tutu's Asylum will move on here. And we're going to update the bracket. Uh, catch up with chat real quick. Hitch says it's good to have Knight back in the casting booth. I agree. It's been a while. It's nice to have Appreciate you. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Glad so many people missed me. Indeed, indeed. Uh, this is that also that moment where I'll give you these links again, guys. If you don't want to be spoiled, you know, most of you don't. You've been here. But uh, just in case, the YouTube is there. And if you are interested in joining, there's the link for the Discord and would like to sign up. But we are going to do our lovely update of the bracket right now. Right, all right, so Asylum taking the set from Otter will move on to face up against Vorstort here. And uh, it should be a fun set between those two. Alakog has already advanced. I've already advanced to face on with a call. We do have a slight delay. Yo Yo Dude and Serb have a few extra days to play, Serb. Uh, ill, so he's asked for an extension, which we granted. Uh, Teapot and the Origins of Symmetries, we do have their games in. We'll be casting those tomorrow. And Captain Thomas versus uh, Eltravator are going to be quite delayed. That's alright, we'll uh, make things work nonetheless. But uh, two quick sets tonight, man. Very, uh, very quick, actually. Two, two O's. So, that is going to be it for this evening. If you guys haven't been following along with this tournament for long, I encourage you to hit that follow button. Big thanks to you for joining in again, Knight. Appreciate it. No problem. Any, any closing words for you there? Um, both sets were really fun to cast and watch. Uh, interesting sim choices in the, seeing the new maps. Uh, well, the, the one new map uh, that I saw. You know, the the first map is just Arabia. I've only seen that one. Uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting. It's um, it's nice uh, seeing all the stuff and nice seeing new players coming here and uh, showing off their skills and stuff. Yeah. And I always enjoy watching them and watching them play. Well, guys, that is going to do it for us. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't, please consider following. Do appreciate it. I have a 2v2 partner. Questions in chat for you? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know what I could get for a 2v2 partner. I don't know if Funky's around anymore. I mean, I've seen him a couple times on Discord. Maybe I could ask him again, but who knows? Maybe he's just doing IRL stuff, so who knows? Maybe I could get someone else to be my 2v2 partner. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, that's you got some time there, buddy. But, uh, for now, guys, that's going to do it for us. Thanks again. Hope you have a good night, and uh, we'll see you here again tomorrow.